excited to, first of all, be with you uh, this morning and start my day off here at Sunflower Elementary School. And I'm happy to um, be a part of the prize patrol, finally, <laughs> of, of the Lawrence School Foundation. So joining me, of course, we have our foundation staff. Uh, in addition, we have some members of our um, district team, our executive leadership team, foundation uh, board members. And of course, we know that the foundation does a tremendous job of raising money for um, ultimately to support our students. They support our teachers and other staff with scholarships, classroom, uh, innovation grants, high quality early childhood education, and also about uh, providing support to another variety of um, staff in sp specific student and school needs. <clears throat> and most importantly, they do staff recognition, which is why we're here today. <laughs> so today, we will recognize a Sunflower staff member. Now, the foundation asked for letters of nomination for its staff recognition program. And I want to share just a few words of um, comments from these letters that we received about this particular staff member. So I'm going to try not to use pronouns, okay? So I might say this staff member. Make it a little annoying. I might say this staff member. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> excuse me. A Sunflower teacher wrote, this staff member believes that all students, regardless of any limitations or disadvantages that they face, are able to grow and learn. And this staff member provides the groundwork for them to work towards becoming responsible and independent adults. This staff member spends time getting to know each of the students that they work with uh, by making personal connections and encouraging them, encourages them on a daily basis with a friendly smile, pat on the back, and positive comment. This staff member also embraces their struggle and works with, with our students to find solutions. Another Sunflower teacher wrote this, children in my classroom know that this staff member genuinely cares about them as students, and more importantly, as people. This staff member is the caring adult that all children need in their lives. This staff member is firm but kind and maintains positive relationships with all of, um, all, with all of my students. This is the teacher speaking. Uh, students know that they can depend on this person's genuine concern, their respect, and consistency of care. Principal Dykin says this about the staff member. This person goes out of their way to get to know the interest of the students. Always patient. God knows we need patience. Um, patient with the students and always expects them to do their best. And because of their personal integrity, the staff member is a great role model for students and staff. We even got some information from a parent about the staff member. You know, our parents are vocal, I learned in this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this was good, this was good. I would definitely nominate this person for an achievement because they have been such a blessing in my son's life. To know that you can trust someone, that means a lot to me. I'm not really a good person in writing things, but my heart is so full right now that this person is getting this award. I think they are worthy of it. We even had a student, an alumni of Sunflower. A student that was a 2010 graduate of Sunflower wrote, although I was in fifth grade when this person started at Sunflower, they're very nice to me. I definitely think that they deserve an award like this. This person um, was pretty helpful to me, and I enjoyed working with this person. They're a great person. <laughs> okay, so the nomination letters that the foundation received are filled with many, many, many more comments um, and examples like this in ways that this staff member has really been a positive and made a positive impact <clears throat> in a student's life here at Sunflower. And I would definitely agree that this person is most deserving uh, of this award, as many of you are deserving of this award. But I won't get the opportunity to tell you who this person is. Let me introduce again Mr. Scott Morgan, our foundation and past school board president, uh, Mr. Scott Morgan. Thank you. And you don't, you don't need to bring that past president thing up. <laughs> that may not have gone so well. Uh, <laughs> I think if my, I did my math right, it's great to be here today, and I, I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, but, my wife Kathleen and I spent 13 consecutive years as Sunflower parents uh, from the day this place opened to when our third child finally uh, decided to move on to Southwest. So it's great to be back here. There's a lot of memories, fond, otherwise, but great, and uh, they've, they've all done well from there, uh, from here. Uh, the, this is one of those really fun things to get to do as the foundation uh, president, and I want to thank my other board members who are in attendance here for showing up because we, 
schools, as you know, there are so many things going on. And when you're in the foundation, you get to see some of those things. Certainly on the board, I saw them. But it's nice when you can reward just the amazing work that is done out there every day during the grind. And it is appreciated. I know sometimes it feels like you're just doing it in a vacuum, but people do notice it. There's a really special group that has started uh, an award that we give out in May called the Bobs that goes out to our stand outstanding teacher each year. That, of course, was organized by a group of men named Bob. <laughs> they're a very clever bunch. And their <laughs> children taking that the next step, the, they decided they wanted to do their own award a few years after they started the Bobs. Uh, they were the sons of Bobs, and which of course they cleverly called themselves the SOBs. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really high class group. <laughs> we are pleased to say that now they are the sons and daughters of the Bobs and Bobbies, and it has gotten to be a lot classier since those changes. <laughs> we are here today for the Sons of Bobs and Daughters uh, award that they put together. This award brings attention to a teacher or paraeducator who goes the extra mile to help kids who need it most. It acknowledges someone who supports the district's excellence, equity, and engagement goals, and is, and is who is dedicated to the success of every teach, of every student, probably every teacher too. Um, they, sons and daughters of Bob's wish to remain anonymous. They don't want the attention on them. They want the attention on the recipient, the person who has earned this award. And so that's where I get to step in as president of the foundation to present it. And today, it is my extreme honor to present it to Mr. Mike Harris. We're going to get to the fun part. So, um, and I also understand, obviously, you're a retired lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Air Force. One of my children, who was known as Calvin here, is now Cal Morgan and is a, a captain in the U.S. Air Force, so he's now Captain Morgan. Congratulations. <laughs> That's what Sunflower did for him. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. But the great part of this award is Dina has a check for $5,000. Yeah. And thank all the SOBs <laughs> and I just want to say I'm very humbled uh, thank all of you for being here today I really appreciate it thanks for my wife for coming but more than that I want to thank everyone else in this room you know I am just a small cog in this machine and I know we're all out for the same goal and that's to make all the students that come through here better people and and I'm really proud to work with all of you. Thank you so much for the work that you do. And you say you're so small cog, I would disagree. <laughs> I think the folks in this room would, would disagree. You're a huge part of this family. I also understand that um, you've been a special ed parent for 11 years. Over 11, 11 years, years now, yes. And I will tell you that's rare. <laughs> yep. And so um, on behalf of Lawrence Public Schools, our Board of Education, we definitely want to say thank you for the work that, you, that you've done over these past 11 years and the many lives that you've touched. Mm -hmm but also the work that you continue to, continue to do for the next 20 years. <laughs> 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 